know, in your opinion, how much you think the construction industry has changed from when you started to when Alex has joined? Um, when I started, when I was an apprentice, it was health and safety pretty, was pretty much non-existent. It was, and you think of some of the things that went on back then, it's so dangerous. Just young kids jumping on dump machines and driving them and, like, you know, um, the scaffolds were so dodgy. But now, obviously, the health and safety is better. It can be frustrating at times, can't it? It can be, health and safety can be over the top. It can actually stop you doing your work sometimes. But, um, and also, there's pretty much nobody coming into the trade because there's, there's, there's no, everything's all about go to university. There's nothing pushing people into the trades, and which is sad really, but it, it definitely needs sorting out. We need more people coming into the trade and learning. To the, it needs to be, um, perfect example is like I've said, when you turn up at a, a person's job to do work for them, you've got to prove yourself on that job because you're just assumed to be a dodgy builder until you prove that you're not a dodgy builder. It, and it shouldn't be like that. People should be, the bricklayers are coming today, you can't wait, it's going to be a great job. And just not assume that you're going to make a bad job. We've had a few people like be quite suspicious of us the first few days, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And then by the time the job's finished, they think, well, there was nothing to worry about, was there? Yeah. Yeah. Since you've joined, have you seen any notices in there? Like noticeable changes in the industry? Um, I've noticed that quality has gone, like on sites, a few sites, quality has gone like out the window now. It's more just about speed and getting them up as quick as possible. Like um, a site we used to work on, we couldn't keep up because we were like, we were trying to get things right, but like they were just like, forget about that, just get it up. So it, being quality over quantity is a bit on, of an old fashioned way to think now in the modern building sites, I found. It's all about speed, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, it's, uh, so, it's one of our co contents, uh, one of our subscribers always calls it volumetric house building, basically just... See how many you can get out in a short space. Just churn them out. Just yeah. churn them out, churn them out. Worry about the, worry about the quality after when they do, this, do the snagging list, yeah. then we'll sort that out after, which isn't, isn't right really. It's, a waste, it's what you're wasting money instead of getting it right in the first place. Now what are some things you can't wait to see changing? Some things you hope change? I hope that, um, going back to what Dad said a little bit, I hope that like builders get a better reputation for themselves. So like, instead of us being assumed to be like lesser people because we're in the trade industry, because um, we've got like a, a reputation where all like all the idiots just get sent to the trade. So I'd like us to uh, get out of that um, stereotype, because obviously there's a few people that we've met and interacted with the brilliant people in the trade industry. Is there anything you hope changes for Alex's future? Um, it's probably a, a bit of a long shot. Um, it's very hard to get materials at the moment. Like a lot of um, 2008 when the recession hit, a lot of um, brick factories closed down, and they've not really come come back online. A lot of a lot of them have stayed shut. So matching bricks for a start very difficult. That's, that's that doesn't seem to be getting any better, does it? No. We've just done a job in, in, in near us, and the bricks. Came because they're the closest match we could get to the bricks on the house. So obviously, obviously not being made over here, all that extra, getting them over here is a bit of a waste again. Just because- It's a lot of money. Hmm? It's a lot of money. Yeah, the, the, brick, the bricks aren't that much more expensive, but it's, um, <laughs> that's another thing. Uh, I hope the prices start coming down again because it's just absolutely ridiculous at the moment. Yeah, we've just done a job. And we actually used an alternative brick because we first we couldn't get the bricks, which were London bricks. And London bricks are really poor quality. And I think they were, I was getting quoted £1.50 a brick per brick, which is just ridiculous. When you think you need a thousand bricks, that's a lot of money just on bricks. Yeah.